I'm a big fan of Mims. Like I like him a lot. But you know, as we talked about, you know, Cole's and Keelan Cole's an interesting story because Denzel Mims is Joe Douglas's guy because he just drafted him, could have been a first round pick, went in the second round, believes in him. But obviously, like we talked about, like I pointed out and Hughes pointed out, apparently Joe Douglas has been trying to trade for Keelan Cole for two years. Since he's been here, he's been trying to get this guy since before Mims was on his radar. So it's interesting that Cole's this guy as well. I just think, you know, with this story, obviously he's working his way back up. You know, he's he's putting the weight back on. He's starting to look better. But this illness was back during OTAs. He's come back. He hasn't been 100%. But like I mentioned before, you know, like Robert Sala said, Corey Davis, Keelan Cole, and Jameson Crowder. So – Denzel Mims and even Elijah Moore. I mean, Daniel Jeremiah pointed it out. Others have pointed it out. He can line up on the outside. So Mims or even Elijah Moore, they could take it from him. But my big take, and I, I feel this way, is from what I've seen with the way Robert Sala talks, this is the way he said this from what we've seen, that, yeah, Mims definitely could be the guy. He could definitely step up. Definitely he's putting the weight back on. He's looking better. He's dedicated. And we saw it. Uh, the uh, the media, I, he uh, had availability. It was earlier in the week. He said that he's one of the first ones there in practice now, one of the last ones to go. In fact, on the sideline, he said he's having a catch with the other quarterbacks that are on the sideline just to keep his hands fresh. Like, he's putting the work in. He wants to get it. So I'm rooting for the kid, but I do feel it is Keelan Cole's job to lose. And we talked about how, you know, talented Keelan Cole is. He may not be that willing to lose it. Uh, just realistically, um, I, 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 again, need to kind of impress upon the point that Harrison was just making about it being overblown, right? Because it does just seem like – it, it seemed like they, we were getting silly season stories, you know, in the middle of a process that kind of requires us to to really pay attention to what, what we're seeing. Um, yeah, climbing, re, re-climbing back up the depth chart, you want to say that if that's how you want to how you want to claim it. If I remember correctly, I heard Robert Sala uh, making a point that they really didn't have a depth chart at this point, and they were just kind of seeing how things were going. Um, yeah, he made the comment, you know, about who's going to run with 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 the ones in particular, but not running with a with, with a, a, a a a level or a tier of guy doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to trade you and that you're not worthy of of of, of having a, a a spot on this team. So. You know, all of this chatter about Denzel Mims was really kind of aggravating, right? It was that 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 uh, you know nails on the chalkboard kind of like, please shut the hell up, please, you know, kind of kind of a thing. Um, I know there were a lot of folks that weren't, you know, screaming it and, and maybe coming to the defense of, of of saying that you know that wasn't realistic. Um, but I mean, it it it, it still kind of spoke to there are pockets that are gonna spit and spew stupidity. And hopefully, you know, we can overcome it. Hopefully what we can just do is wait for, you know, the games to unfold so we can actually see how it works. Um, I, I, I'm sure that I don't, you know, I don't have a, a, a ridiculous take on this. But, uh, Jim, I don't know. Wrap this up, man. What do you think? They've never given Mims a real chance, in my opinion. And, you know, the kid was sick. I don't think that was a bogus thing. I don't think that was anything. It's just you don't. There's so many better stories that you could make up. I mean, I had bad salmon. You know what I mean? Like if if that's gonna be the the cover story, they could have done much much better, because that leads to conversations like this, right? So if everybody's thinking that's a cover, I mean that was gonna be obvious from the start. So they could have had some better story if it were a cover up. And I, I just don't think it is. I, I'm glad that he's getting better. I'm glad that he's putting weight back on. I'm glad that he's feeling fresh. Um, and I, and I still think he has wide receiver one potential. You know, I, I don't, that, I, that hasn't changed for me. And it just goes back to what I've said before is you're not going to see. She came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> that was like a ninja. <laughs> That was like some exorcism <laughs> stuff. Like that just came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, he likes to he likes to jump no, over. Being so. on, our, uh, on our live broadcast. That was cool though. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that was. but yeah, I I, I just think that, um, like I said before, we're seeing all all sorts of different player groups. They're going to be playing with different groupings just to see where everybody fits, and I think that's what's going on now. And Denzel's got a little bit more of an excuse because he was ill. So they're trying to just bring him back step by step. You know, they're not just going to dump him in with the ones to make the fans happy. 